What's going on you guys? Loxo here again. Okay guys, looks like we have finally gotten the update. We haven't gotten the characters released, but we have the update so we can actually view the characters here. So guys, just a heads up, I'm going to actually go over all the- I'm going to do a polling video, and then I'm going to actually test the characters, or Biaki, I'm probably going to give them to 5 star, test them with and without the weapon, and let you guys make your own decision whether you want to actually get them or not, but... Anyways, let's go ahead and first take a look at the characters here. Okay. So, first thing you'll notice is he is actually a Zer Dragon. So he will be raging first round. Talent, it's for the Kenpachi Contest. And actually all three of these new characters are for Kenpachi Contest. Looks like his... Let's go ahead and take a look at... Looks like his numbers are actually pretty decent. I like his attacks pretty, pretty good. DPS bleed, as we were expecting. Let's go ahead and take a look at his passive first. Okay, Anniversary Byakuya has increased attack. At the beginning of combat anniversary, Byakuya gains two stacks of Hado, and when Hado stacks to a maximum, he gains... He is granted an additional 30% crit damage and 20% attack. Hado. Gains 10% increased crit chance and 5% increased rage recovery rate for each stack. Stackable up to 6 times, and Hado cannot be dispelled. Also, we have an attack increase here on the passive. So, Mudamasa is no longer the only character with attack. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look here at his mastery skill. Deals damage to a single enemy. Ignores 40% of the target's defense. Gains one stack of Hado. We've already went over Hado. Let's go ahead and take a look here at Rage. Deals damage to all enemies. Inflicts bleeding on targets for two rounds. Gains one stack of Hado. So by the looks of it, we're going to start off the battle with two as long as you have him at four star. He's going to start off with two stacks of Hado. He's going to Rage first round because he's a dragon. He's going to get three stacks. And then if he does have the mastery skill, we'll have we'll start we'll start off with four stacks of Hado, which means 40% crit chance. Additional. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at his weapon here. After Weapon Awakens, damage is greatly increased. The numbers of Hado stacks gained is increased. Killing an enemy recovers rage, and the ability deals additional damage to bleeding targets. We'll actually have to see all those numbers. After we get the character, because we can't see it yet. However, he does get an additional... St I'm assuming one additional stack of Hado, so... Everything I just said without the weapon, you get one additional stack with the weapon. But, by the looks of it, what it's going to do is... We're going to start off a little slow with the damage on Viekia. However, we will have... An, so right at the gate, we'll have 20% increased crit chance, which is nice. And 10% increased rage recovery rate, which is also really nice. And then as time goes on, he will rage more, use his specialty attack more. I'm sorry, his mastery skill more. And then by the time you get to the third, fourth round, when he has maximum of six stacks of Hado, then he's going to gain that huge buff of 30% crit damage and 20% attack. So at that rate, all of his attacks are going to be pretty much one-shotting the enemy. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look here at his heroic warsel now. Increased crit chance of all attacks, especially characters, by 0.67. So that is actually pretty good. That means he's going to have an additional, what, 3% attack? Or 3% crit on top of all the crit that you already have. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look here at his oh, bonds. So looks like we have, of course, the regular anniversary bond here. Okay, this is going to be an easy one. If you're getting him to 7-star, then you should easily have brother and sister bond here. Kuchiki Byakuya, that is another bond that pretty much most people should have at purple. Looks like we're going to have two HP bonds and two HP bonds. It's not what you want to see with an attacker. Unfortunately, his attack isn't going to be boosted as much as we would like. But, at least he's going to seem a little bit more tanky with a bit more HP. Alright. Also, the focus is 
0.6 HP. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at his actual, how he looks in battle here. Alrighty, so as you can see, we start off with two stacks of Hado. Mastery skill, now we have three stacks of Hado. And he's going to rage here. After this rage, he'll be at five stacks of Hado. Oh, nice. Or four stacks of Hado. I really like this rage, so look at that. But if you have his weapon, you'll be at five stacks of Hado, and just then. Now you'll be at cap 6 stacks of hotter, which means you will have an additional 30% crit damage and 20% attack. So just like that, Max. Also, I really like that rage skill. It reminds me of the fight he had with Tsukushima. Very good fight there. We're actually, probably one of my favorite fights in all of Bleach, to be honest. So, Anyways, that was Byaka. He actually looks really, really nice. Uh, looks like you can get his stacks of Hado up pretty quickly. As you saw, if we had his weapon the second round, we would have had full stacks of Hado. So that would have been huge damage increase. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Rukia here. Alright, so here we are with Rukia. Looks like she is a white tiger. Once again, talent. Kempachi contest. Let's go ahead and take a look here at her... Mastery skill first. Alright, Mastery skill deals damage to a single enemy with a 50% chance of paralyzing the target for one round. Increases the attack of all ally with the highest attack by 10% for two rounds. Wow, okay. Rage skill. Deals damage to all enemies and de decreases the damage reduction rate by 15%. And defense by 20% of the enemy back row for two rounds. Wow, this is going to be really, really strong with my Muramasa team, actually. Assuming Muramasa doesn't one-shot the enemy back row as soon as the battle starts. Wow, okay, let's go ahead and finish this off. Increase the attack of the ally, of the ally back row by 12% for two rounds. Whoa, okay, yeah. That's going to be really, really strong. Let's go ahead and take a look at her weapon here. After weapon awakens, damage is greatly increased. The debuff to the enemy back row is increased, and the buff to the ally back row is increased, and grants an additional bonus to crit chance to the ally with the highest attack. So, by the looks of it, you don't necessarily... Her weapon isn't mandatory, it just gives her a little boost. Depends on how how much those boosts are, but by the looks of it, her weapon isn't mandatory. So that's pretty nice. Let's go ahead and take a look here at her passive. Anniversary Rukia has increased damage reduction rate. When dealing damage to the to enemy with debuffs, all allies deal additional damage equal to 20% of each attack of each attacker's attack so I'm kind of confused here but by the looks of the wording it seems like whenever you deal damage to enemies it's like a dot but it's that current attackers but your character's attack you do extra damage to the enemy so We'll see how that looks. Seems like interesting. Seems like it's pretty interesting, but we'll see how that works. All right. Damage reduction rate increased by 8%. And let's go ahead and take a look at her heroic war soul hole right here. Increased crit chance of all skill specialty characters by 0.6. So that's an extra 3%. It looks like crit chance of all skill specialty characters. So that's good. If you own both of these, you'll have pretty much an extra 3% crit chance period, which is pretty nice. Anyways, looks like her attack is really, really high, though. Let's... Her attack is higher than Byakuya's. Yeah, and her... Yeah, all of her numbers are higher than Byakuya's, which is... Interesting. Not that those numbers actually mean a whole lot, but it's interesting. I also like her design. Her design looks really cool. 
All right, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at her in battle. All right, so... Looks like we got that Paralyze. So, by the looks here, we should be doing additional damage to Orohime here. Alright, I also really like that Rage Skill, once again, reminds me of the Tsukushima fight with Byakuya. Does a pretty decent amount of damage as well. Anyways, you guys, I think that's just about going to do it here. Once again, guys, I have my video coming out here... In about a half an hour or so, the re the release or the update's going to hit, and then I'll be posting my video as soon as I can after that. So stay tuned for that. And once again, guys, if you guys haven't already subscribed and would like to, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this content, feel free to hit that like button as well. Questions, comments, concerns, hit me up in the comment section. And I will catch you guys in probably about an hour or less. Anyways, good luck. I'll see you guys then.